The fight against COVID-19 has seen vaccine development move at record speed, with quite 170 different vaccines in trials. But how are they different from one another? In this episode of The Zorfire Show, we will talk about top 8 vaccines available globally for the COVID-19. First in our list is Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. It's mRNA-based vaccine, which is made up of nucleoside-modified mRNA. And we need two shots of this vaccine, three weeks apart. It shows 90 to 93% efficacy. It must be noted here that efficacy rate changes among different variants of SARS-CoV-2 because of the inclusion of mutations. And this vaccine is co-developed by USA and Germany. Pfizer from the United States and Biotech from Germany. This vaccine is stored at minus 25 degrees to minus 15 degrees centigrade, earlier reported temperature was minus 70 degrees centigrade. Before proceeding further let's understand what is mRNA-based vaccine. These nucleic acid vaccines use genetic material, either RNA or DNA, to supply cells with the instructions to form the antigen. Within the case of COVID-19, this is often usually the viral spike protein. Once this genetic material gets into human cells, it uses our cells' protein factories to form the antigen which will trigger an immune reaction. The benefits of such vaccines are that they are easy to form and cheap. Since the antigen is produced inside our own cells and in large quantities, the immune response should be strong. RNA vaccines got to be kept at ultra-cold temperatures, minus 70 degrees centigrade or lower, which could prove challenging for countries that don't have specialized cold storage equipment, particularly low- and middle-income countries. The second vaccine, which is Moderna. It's also mRNA-based vaccine, which is made of nucleoside-modified mRNA. And we need two shorts for this. Four weeks apart. It shows 90-94% efficacy, and this vaccine is developed by the United States. This vaccine requires storage at minus 25 degrees to minus 15 degrees centigrade. Now we have the third vaccine from Johnson & Johnson, also known as Janssen. This vaccine is a viral vector type vaccine, which is made from human adenovirus, and we just need one shot of this vaccine. It shows efficacy up to 70-85%. to 85%. This vaccine is developed by Belgium and United States. Now what are viral vector type vaccines? The viral vector vaccines also work by giving cells genetic instructions to supply antigens. But they differ from macromolecule vaccines therein they use a harmless virus, different from the one the vaccine is targeting, to deliver these instructions into the cell. One sort of virus that has often been used as a vector is adenovirus, which causes the cold. As with macromolecule vaccines, our own cellular machinery is hijacked to supply the antigen from those instructions so as to trigger an immune reaction. Viral vector vaccines can mimic natural virus infection and will therefore trigger a robust immune reaction. However, since there's an opportunity that a lot of people may have already been exposed to the viruses getting used as vectors, some could also be resistant to it, making the vaccine less effective. All the three above vaccines that's Pfizer, Moderna, and Janssen vaccines are approved for use in the United States. Then we have the AstraZeneca vaccine. It's also branded as Covishield in India. This vaccine is based on viral vector type, which is made from modified chimpanzee adenovirus. There are two shots to be administered that are 8 to 12 weeks apart. This vaccine shows efficacy of 76 to 81.3% and is made by United Kingdom and Sweden. It requires standard refrigeration. Now we have Sputnik V vaccine, which is based on a viral vector made from modified adenovirus, and there are two shots to be administered 3 to 13 weeks apart. It shows efficacy of 84 to 86 percent. And this vaccine is developed by Russia. Its dry form can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Next in the list is Sinovac or Coronavac vaccine which is based on inactivated virus, and we need two shorts with three weeks or more apart. It shows efficacy of 67 to 75 percent and is developed by China. It can also be stored at standard refrigeration. But what is an inactivated virus-based vaccine? Many conventional vaccines use whole viruses to trigger an immune reaction. There are two main approaches. Live attenuated vaccines use a weakened sort of the virus which will still replicate without causing illness. 
Inactivated vaccines use viruses whose genetic material has been destroyed in order that they cannot replicate but can still trigger an immune reaction. Both types use well-established technology and pathways for regulatory approval, but live attenuated ones may risk causing disease in people with weak immune systems and sometimes require careful cold storage, making their use tougher in low-resource countries. Inactivated virus vaccines are often given to people with compromised immune systems. Other licensed vaccines that use this type of technology are hepatitis A, polio and rabies. According to Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, advantages of an inactivated whole virus vaccine include the fact its technology is well established, it is suitable for people with compromised immune systems, and it's relatively simple to manufacture. Then we have the Novavax vaccine. It's a protein-based vaccine, and we need two shots of this three weeks to four weeks apart, it shows efficacy of about 85 to 89 percent, and it's developed by the United States. It also requires standard refrigeration. But what is protein subunit vaccine? Subunit vaccines use pieces of the pathogen often fragments of protein to trigger an immune reaction. Doing so minimizes the danger of side effects, but it also means the immune reaction could also be weaker. This is why they often require adjuvants to assist boost the immune reaction. An example of an existing subunit vaccine is the hepatitis B vaccine. The protein subunit vaccination is also a well-established technology that's advantageous for those with compromised immune systems. And then we have Covaxin, which is an inactivated virus-type vaccine. And we need two shorts or four week apart. It shows efficacy of 70 to 80 percent and is developed by India. Covaxin can be easily and conveniently stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, which is a regular refrigerator temperature. So these are the eight best vaccines globally present as of now. On an average, all the vaccines show efficacy in the range of 60 to 90 percent, which is a good sign to control the virus. If you find the video useful then please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel.